Today, GST celebrates its fifth birthday. There is nothing really to celebrate. GST had serious birth defects. In the last five years, these defects have only become worse and all those touched by GST have been seriously injured. None more than the common people who consume goods and services and pay exorbitant taxes without knowing why the government has imposed the crushing tax burden upon them. At the outset, the Congress party wishes to make it absolutely clear that the so-called GST that is enforced today was not, I repeat, was not the GST envisaged by the UPA government. I had made it clear on the floor of Parliament and elsewhere that the GST of our conception was a single low rate across all goods and services with few exemptions. There could be a small plus or a small minus to the single rate in a few cases during the transition period. We may remind you that the current GST law was passed against the express advice of the then Chief Economic Advisor, whose recommendations were contained in an official publication titled Towards a Revenue Neutral Rate.